Now let's move on to software. As I mentioned, Nintendo Land will be included with the Wii U Premium Pack. It will also be available separately on Wii U launch day. So it seems like a good time to look at it in more detail. As you know, Nintendo Land is a theme park filled with 12 distinct attractions, all based on the well-loved Nintendo franchises. At E3, we mainly concentrated on multiplayer games, but there is a wide variety of gameplay on offer. Our in-house Nintendo development team is working very hard on completing these titles. And now I'd like to show you the different attractions they are working on. There are games where you can play alone or with other people. The Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, Pikmin Adventure, and Metroid Blast. Then there are games where you play against other people. Mario Chase, Luigi's Ghost Mansion, Animal Crossing Sweet Day. And also single player games, although other people can assist too. Yoshi's Fruit Cart, Octopus Dance, Donkey Kong's Crash Course, Takamaru's Ninja Castle, Captain Falcon's Twister Race, and Balloon Trip Breeze. These games all differ, and each attraction is a standalone game with multiple levels various modes and deep gameplay contents. Some of the simplest looking games are surprisingly complicated, and whether you are a beginner or a seasoned player, you are going to find them a challenge. I can confirm that personally. I'd like to show you just how interesting this gameplay is by taking a look at Metroid Blast, which is a shooter type game. There is more than one mode in Metroid Blast, and we are going to look first at the mode called Land vs. Air. Up to five players can take part in this multiplayer battle. There are two teams. One player controls a flying starship, and the other plays Hamus on the ground. The starship player uses a two-stick on the Wii U gamepad to control the ship and attack the Samus characters from the air. The other player uses the Wii Remote Plus controllers and nunchuck to outrun the ship and try to blow it up from the ground. There is also a mode called Assault Mission, where both teams fight together against enemies from the Metro series. You play through a number of stages, and at the end of some stages, there will be a super tough boss to tackle. When you play this mode, you also have the option to choose either the Starship or Sams and play alone. The last mode is called Grand Battle, and here the Sams characters fight each other on the ground. As you can see already, there are many different options in Metroid Brass alone. I'd also like to talk about the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. We already show the multiplayer battle quest mode at E3. In this mode, player choose to use a bow and arrow or a sword and shield and battle through a beautiful fabric style world, facing famous enemies from the series. In battle quest mode, there are nine stages and once you finish them all, you can unlock hidden stages too. You can also play solo in this mode using either the Wii U Gamepad or Wii Remote Plus. And let me tell you, single player is very challenging. There is also a single player mode called Time Attack. Using the Wii U Gamepad, you have to eliminate all enemies as fast as you can. There are three different levels available in this mode. No matter what your favorite Nintendo character is, there is a good chance you will find it in Nintendo Land. Maybe you will also discover some new characters you didn't know much about before. Each of the 12 attractions will reward you with stamps based on your completion level. It will be quite a challenge to get them all. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> Another launch day title will be New Super Mario Bros. U. 
Everybody knows that normally Princess Peach is kidnapped at the beginning of the Super Mario games. However, this time Peach's castle is invaded by Bowser's minions, who kick Mario and his friends out instead. Now it's up to them to work their way back to Peach's castle through a vast world map containing many distinctive levels and various challenges to conquer. Mario loves his power-ups, and this game features a new one that allows him to glide like a flying squirrel. You also find different Yoshis who can blow bubbles to catch enemies. In New Super Mario Bros. U, when you play with other people, you can now play as your me. Thanks to this and the HD graphics, you can now tell really easily who is playing which character in multiplayer games. Playing by yourself, you can actually play just on the Wii U gamepad, freeing up the TV screen for other uses. When you play with others though, you can use the gamepad in boost mode. In this mode, you assist other gamers who are controlling the characters on screen by using a touch screen. You can touch the screen to place helpful platforms, for example. This is a great way for players who aren't so experienced in Mario gameplay to join in. However, boost mode with the gamepad is not just for inexperienced players. When it's used by skillful players, you can achieve some real super play, as you can see now. We are really happy that we could create a new mechanism which has different application and is not just for beginners. New Super Mario Bros. U also offers some additional modes in which players can enjoy normal courses in a different way. Challenge mode is one example of this. Players receive various challenges such as a time attack, where they try to reach the goal pole as quickly as possible. Or how about a one-up challenge, where you have to jump on several enemies in a row without missing any. Depending on the challenge, the same courses can offer totally different gameplay, and you will have to play the game slowly to achieve records for every challenge. Another example is what we call Boost Rush. In this frantic mode, all courses are auto-scrolling. The more coins you collect, the faster the screen scrolls and the harder it gets to clear the courses. If you think you are good at Super Mario games, this will be the place to prove it. New Super Mario Bros. U will bring the colorful world of Mario to life like never before with brand new gameplay modes. This is a totally new 2D Mario games for Wii U, and you can enjoy Wii U's unique Mario gameplay, regardless of whether you play alone or with other players. New Super Mario Bros. U will be available from Wii U launch day. These are the launch day titles being developed in-house. But don't forget about all the other games we are creating at Nintendo, like Pikmin 3 and Game & Wario heading your way next year. Now I'd like to turn our attention to more launch day games developed by other companies and teams. Ubisoft have a long tradition of game creation with Nintendo, and the Wii U is no different. We are very pleased today to be able to bring you new detail on Rayman Legends. The best part is we are going to hear from the creator of the Rayman series himself, Michel Onsel. In Rayman Legends, we really wanted to um, create new experience with the touch capability of the Wii U. So we use the gamepad in different ways. So you can really uh, drag something, you can point on uh, specific enemies in order to destroy them, showing the path. Um, the gyroscope allows us to completely manipulate uh, the whole level. So you really have to talk. Asymmetrical gameplay is really the, the first thing 
you could expect from a Wii U game, just because you've got the different way of approaching um, uh, the way of playing. Um, on one side you've got the classic controller, on the other side you've got the, um, the gamepad, and it's it's really the, the key of the the experience we wanted to build. <laughs> In order to really experience the uh, asymmetrical gameplay, we build um, a level that takes place in the Olympus world where the gamepad player is uh, moving a shield, a flying shield. And uh, the very interesting thing is that the shield has two main uh, uh, tasks. First task, it can be used as a platform, and the other one is that it can protect the player. And we did that because we wanted the two players to interact uh, depending on the situation, okay, I've got to protect you or you've got to jump on, 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 the, on me and then I can carry you somewhere. It's really doing things all together at the same time, but with completely different responsibilities. <laughs> the musical maps um, is a real, is really something fun we wanted to do for a long time. When you play a platformer game, the music is very important. You want to play and you want the, the music to be really a, a part of the experience. Yeah. This time we try to go further and to really have the feeling of uh, mixing your actions and at the same time having the music completely synchronized. It's good.